So to fix this discrepancy between um, the lack of normal max flux in the simple EIF, we could have a non-simple EIF, which would be constructed so that its normal mass flux is that of the real flow outside the boundary layer. So non-simple EIF would have rho B at Sn equal to rho I V I Sn. So the vertical or the normal component of mass flux in the equivalent inviscid flow would equal that in the real flow. This need be true for n greater than ne of s, because the equivalent inviscid flow um, need only be defined outside the, uh, this, this region. So the problem then becomes that of finding rho v of s and n and ne of s. For now, let's assume that we've somehow determined n of s. Later, we'll come back to how that would be done. So then, the focus is on finding rho v of s and n. So for n greater than an e, uh, rho v in the real viscous flow can be determined by integrating its n direction gradient. Right? So rho v of s and n is rho v at s and 0, so n equals 0, plus the integral from 0 to n, d dn, rho v dn. This first term must be zero from the no-slip condition because the velocity must be zero at the wall. We can transform the second term since for an incompressible flow mass conservation says that V D S rho u plus V D N rho v equals zero. That means that we can instead now just say that rho v of s and n, dropping the first term is the integral from 0 to n of minus dvs rho u the n. So this then can now be manipulated a bit further just by adding and subtracting Add and subtract dds rho e u e, then we get rho v of s and n is the integral from 0 to n dds rho e u e minus rho u dn. So here we've added rho e u e, and then here we've subtracted it because e d s rho e u e, here we've subtracted it and evaluated the integral because rho e u e is not a function of n. Therefore, we can just take it out of the integral and the integral is from 0 to n, which is just n. So then, we can take the dds outside the integral 
because the integrand is zero at the upper limit of n, which is why uh, the upper limit of n must be greater than ne. So this gives us then eds of rho e u e times the integral from zero to n e of one minus rho u rho u e, u e dn minus n eds rho u e. So then if we let m of s be this integral uh, with this constant factor u e, uh, rho e u e brought inside, so this is the integral of rho e u e minus rho u e n, and this m of s is called the mass deficit. Then we get that rho v of s and n can be written as just dm ds minus n ds rho e u e. And again, this requires n greater than n e. And this is for the real flow. Now, you may recall a definition from third year fluids of the boundary layer displacement thickness. Which is delta star, which is just the integral from zero to NE of one minus rho u over rho e u e the n so that m of s is just rho e u e delta star. Then we can write that rho v s of s and n is pds of rho e u e delta star minus n dds rho e u e. So what we end up with is m of s is the mass flow difference between the equivalent inviscid flow and the real flow. And delta of s is the resulting displacement of the equivalent inviscid flow from the wall to get the same mass flux. Now, calculating m of s and delta star of s requires a detailed analysis of the boundary layer, and we'll look at the types of analysis that one might use to get those later on. But for today, let's just assume that these are somehow known.